Hi Stampers, this is Marie Bennett at blackberriesandcream.net and today I'm going to show you this uh, birthday card that I made using some of the new products out of the Occasions catalog that's going to be um, open for purchase on January 5th and also from the Celebrations catalog uh, those are the free products that you can earn if you spend uh, $50 or more from any current Stampin' Up! offering. So this uh, birthday card was made using uh, a variety of products. And I just want to show you what, what those are before we get started. And you're going to want to hang around because at the end of the video I'm going to um, show you what you can win in my uh, giveaway. Okay, to make this card I've used um, images from four different stamp sets. I don't normally use that many stamp sets but I wanted to give you a peek at some of the things that are going to be available. So this uh, stamp set is called Timeless Textures and I'm going to be using this um, net looking image right here. This is out of the current catalog. It's a hostess set called Best Thoughts and we're using this image right here. The best is yet to come. Out of the Celebrations catalog there are two free stamp sets. This one which is called Flowering Fields and from this stamp set I'm using this image right here. And then Sky is the Limit. Um, I love this stamp set and we're using happy birthday. So those are the four stamp sets we're using. We're also uh, going to be using a new um, designer series paper pack called Perfectly Artistic. This is free in the Celebrations catalog with a $50 purchase. And these are the papers that are in it. I'll tell you what the colors are. It has um, Basic Gray, Bermuda Bay, Blushing Bride, Crumb Cake, Crush Curry, Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, Mint Macaron, Smoky Slate, Soft Sky, Tempting Turquoise, and Whisper White. And these are all are kind of marbleized papers on one side. This is the Smoky Slate. So one side of the paper is marbleized looking papers and then the back side is a watercolor design. So I think that these are going to be very very useful uh, designer series paper and the best thing about them they're free with a purchase of fifty dollars. And in celebrations you can choose something free for every fifty dollars you spend. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. To create this image right here, I did some masking. So the first thing you do when you mask is uh, stamp, stamp the image. So I stamped the flower image and then I cut it out. And then I'm going to use this cutout image as my mask. And on a piece of very vanilla which is cut to two inches by three and a half inches. I'm going to put this uh, flower image sort of right in the middle. I have a little bit of repositional repositionable tape on the back of this so that I can keep picking it up and put it put it exactly where I want it to be. There, I think that's it right there. All right, now I'm going to take this um, net image and I'm going to stamp it in smoky slate. And I want to have it sort of centered right over the top of this.
give it a little roll but not too much I don't want any of those halo shadows there and you can see that it creates that netting look right behind the flowers then I can peel that off and then the next thing I'm going to do is stamp the floral image using the archival basic black and I'm going to uh, position that image right in right in that blank space that I created with the mask okay so I want to get this right where my blank space is there you have it so now it looks like the net is behind the flowers okay now to create the the blossom I used uh, pink pirouette and raspberry or rich razzleberry markers and I used the brush tip started with the dark the rich razzleberry and I just created uh, some dark highlights where you might expect a tight bud like this to be darker so I'm not really coloring in the whole flower just the just where I want those dark highlights to be and then using the pink pirouette stamp and write marker I'm going to color in the whole flower and I think I really want a little more dark shading in there so I'm going to go back with my rich razzleberry there. okay then I need my what color pear pizzazz <laughs> my pear pizzazz stamp and write marker and I'm going to color in the the leaf area at the base of the bud and the leaves along the stem of each flower and then this image will be finished okay there you have it that's finished the next next thing I need to do to um, get this image ready to put on the card I need to uh, put on this little butterfly and tie the the ribbon so let's start with the butterfly which is stamped in uh, Bermuda Bay and this butterfly image came out of this celebration set called flowering fields it's right here and I don't want it to be full strength so I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on and hopefully he'll look like he's just getting ready to land alright now the ribbon I love this ribbon this is available in the new occasions catalog and it's called stitched ribbon it's 1 8 inch wide and it's got um, three rows of little white stitches and it's a Bermuda Bay ribbon so I've cut a piece uh, three inches long and I'm going to tape it on the back so I'm going to put it at the base of these flowers and then just tape it to the back I'm just going to use scotch tape and then on the front it's crooked there now it's straight okay so now I'm going to take another piece of ribbon which is about the same length maybe three and a half inches long and I'm just going to tie a knot on the, the ribbon that's already there
and then trim it off using my little snips. Okay, now this is ready to put on the card. Okay, so to put the card together, I've already done some of the work, but we're starting with a piece of Rich Razzleberry, which is a standard card size, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and then we're going to fold it down the middle and give it a good swipe with the bone folder. And on the inside of the card, I've already um, got my piece of very vanilla ready. It's four by five and a quarter, and I've stamped it with the best is yet to come in rich razzleberry, and um, sponged the edges with rich razzleberry also. I'm going to adhere this with um, snail adhesive. leaving about a quarter inch, or an eighth, I'm sorry, eighth of an inch border all the way around. Like that. And the inside of the card's done. Outside of the card, we're starting with a layer of very vanilla, cut at five and a quarter by four. And I daubed the edges of this piece also in the rich razzleberry. Give it about an eighth of an inch border all the way around. And then on top of that, I've used that designer series paper. On the back, back it's the mint macaron um, marbled looking paper. And on this side, it looks. I, this is the Bermuda Bay watercolor paper. And I'm going to um, adhere that layer next. So this is cut three and three quarters by five. So it'll get an eighth of an inch all the way around also. Alright, the happy birthday um, stamp came from that uh, Sky is the Limit. This is a free stamp set in the celebrations catalog and I'm just using the happy birthday which I cut with my large oval punch and uh, I stamped it in rich razzleberry and daubed the edges with rich razzleberry also so I'm going to adhere that in the bottom right corner leaving Right there, about like that. And this is going to be go put on with dimensionals. And I use five dimensionals because I want a little support in the middle so that this doesn't sag. Because I'm planning on um, storing this in my card box and sending it out as a birthday gift or birthday card this year. But I don't want it, the card to deteriorate while I'm storing it. You know, sometimes paper sags and gets tired looking, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put five dimensionals, one in each quarter, corner and one in the middle. I'm having issues with Feeling. <laughs> I know you're supposed to poke it, you know, in the middle and the edges will pop up. Just like that. Magic. <laughs> okay, then this goes up here. I want it the corner, the bottom right corner of it to just barely be touching that oval. Just to kind of tie it together. And there's your birthday card. Happy birthday. The bed is yet, best is yet to come. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little sneak peek at some of the products that are going to be available to you in the new occasions catalog and the stamp or uh, celebration brochure. But now I would like to spend about 20
20 seconds talking to you about my giveaway. So I'm kind of celebrating because um, I have 500 subscribers now to my YouTube channel and for me that's just really really cool and so as a thank you I'm having a giveaway for the Petal Potpourri uh, stamp set and matching punch and to be eligible to win this Petal Potpourri all you need to do is follow the link in the description to my Stampin' Up! website and um, click on the contact me button that's on that page and leave me just a little note with your uh, contact information like your email address or something like that and on January 4th which is coming up pretty quick just a couple weeks I'm going to um, have a random drawing and somebody is going to win this stamp set and matching punch. So good luck and thanks for watching. Bye.